Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing The Incredible Hulk. After that god-awful abomination that was Hulk 2003 flopping with fans and at the box office, I, I, I think it did, I could be wrong. Marvel Studios reacquired the rights to the to the Jolly Green Giant and made and made a sequel slash reboot. Though it was more of a reboot than a sequel. So they brought in a new director, a new cast, and took the and, and took the, the character in a different direction. And in the end result, in my opinion, ended up it was really good. Yeah, like, I know there's a lot of people that either think this movie is just good or okay, and I know some people that flat out hate this movie, but I really like it. Like, Edward Norton plays a much better Bruce Banner than Eric, Eric Banner did. And... And there's no weird you know, Hulk dog crap like in the, like in the original like like in the Ang Lee film I mean. And Hulk doesn't grow every time he gets angrier, so yeah. It's done much better. And the and the story actually makes a lot more sense too. And it, and when there is a, it has a lot of action too, and and unlike Hulk 2003, which kind of dragged, this movie goes right into the action. Like about maybe 15 to 20 minutes in, the first action scene starts, and it's fun. The movie also had a had a, had a much better villain too. In the form of the Abomination, and and in my opinion, I think. He looks better in this movie than he did in the comic books. In the comics, he looks like some kind of weird amphibian fish thing. But in the movie, he looks like an abomination. Like he has, he has, just, you can pretty much see his ribs form, like coming out through his chest. He has bones protruding out, out of his arms. He looks much more monstrous and much more scarier. My only issue with this movie would have to be maybe the CGI effects haven't really aged well that much watching it now. But however, the action scenes make up for it though. So yeah, Incredible, Incredible Hulk. Definitely worth seeing if you're a huge fan. Unlike, I know I bashed I bashed that other movie in, a lot in this review, but I'm sorry that movie left a bad taste in my mouth. And it's and after watching The Incredible Hulk, I'm so glad I I finally got myself a good Hulk movie. At least it wasn't my opinion anyway. So I even. I know I'm probably in a minority on this, but I kind of liked Incredible Hulk better than Iron Man. And yes, I know I said that. But like I said, it's literally just my opinion, and... If you don't have the same opinion, like I said, go ahead and express it. I'm not going to attack you for it, as long as you respect my opinion. So, I give Incredible Hulk... Four and a half stars out of five. And I'll catch you guys later.